Hey, what's up everyone? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineerandtrainingexam.com and in today's quick tutorial we're going to talk about the law of signs. So what is the law of signs? The law of signs allows us to solve triangles that are not right angled and are called oblique triangles. It states the following. The sides of a triangle are to one another in the same ratio as the sines of their opposite angles. So to illustrate that, let's look at the triangle here. Let's say this is side A, this is side B, side C, this is angle A, this is angle C, and this is angle B. So the uh, algebraic statement of the law of sine states that sine of A over A is equal to sine of B over B which is equal to the sine of C over C. So let's take and, uh, take and look at an example here. Let's look at the triangle. Let's say that we know this angle right here is 65 degrees. We got this angle 75 degrees and this angle is 40 degrees. Let's say this side is 10 and let's say we do not know this side which we'll call X and uh, we want to find that side so all we need to do is employ the law of sine so again it's sine of A over A is equal to sine of B over B which is equal to sine of C over C so in this case we can uh, we can just take the angle 40 and the angle 75 and the side of 10 and the side 10 to determine x. So let's go ahead and take that ratio. Let's say the sine of 75 over 10 is going to be equal to the sine of 40 over x. Now just uh, rearranging and solving that we get 10 sine of 40 over the sine of 75 is equal to x and using our calculators we find that x is equal to 6.65 so what if we are given a triangle that has an obtuse angle how do, how do we go about solving that well no differently we do the same thing we just take the ratios of the sides and the angles and a solve form so let's look at an example there Example, let's say that we have a triangle that looks something like this. And let's say this angle is our obtuse angle and it's 105. And we've got this angle which is 25 and this angle is say 50. And let's say that we have um, this side is 10 and this is our unknown side x. So all we need to do once again is look at our definition of uh, the law of sines and know that all we need to do is have uh, plug in a couple few couple uh, knowns to get that unknown X so let's say we got sine of 25 which is the opposite of our known sine of 10 divided by 10 is equal to sine of 105 which is opposite our unknown X and once again just rearranging that we got x is equal to 10 sine of 105 divided by sine of 25 solving that using our calculators we find that x is equal to 22.8 so no different just solve it in the same way just use the ratios so what if we want to find an unknown angle in the, all these all these previous examples we've uh, we kind of just used uh, the law of sines to determine unknown sides but we can also use the law of sines to find the unknown angle so let's look at another example here example let's say we have a triangle and let's say we know this side is 5.5 we know this side is 4.7 and we know this side or this angle is 63 degrees so what we want to do is find angle B so how do we do that? Let's say this is angle B. Since we know side B and we know 
we know a side and a and that uh, 63 is the um, angle opposite to our our second known side. All we need to do again is take our sine of 63 divided by the known side of five and a half, and uh, our unknown angle B divided by our known side of 4.7. So again, all we need to do is rearrange sine of B is equal to 4.7 sine of 63 divided by 5.5. And we can take the inverse sine of this all. And uh, let's calculate this out. This is all going to equal 0.761. Taking that inverse sine, we find that B is equal to 49 point six degrees. So we're also able to find an unknown angle using the law of sines. So that's it for now guys. I hope you appreciated that uh, quick review, that simple review. I know it was probably pretty basic to you guys but uh, definitely something that you need to brush off up on because as easy as it may seem you will run across some of these uh, questions on the exam and being able to crank these out as quick as possible is definitely going to be a benefit to you so anyways if you guys have any more questions about the engineer and training exam go ahead and visit my site at engineer and training exam dot com and also take a minute and uh, or a quick second and subscribe to this channel I'd be honored to have you as a subscriber um, I'm definitely have plans to expand this uh, channel and get more uh, content up for you guys to check out. So if you have also any topics that you would like me to cover in future tutorials, definitely don't hesitate to contact me. I'm definitely open to all um, emails and contacts, and I'm uh, just out there to help you guys out. Um, so I'll do the best that I can for you. So for now, take care, and I look forward to talking to you guys soon. All right? Bye.